Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And I also am a part-time YouTuber most recently. So it is Friday morning, it is one of my favorite days, and I am on my way to the Goodwill bins. It is a little bit after seven o'clock, and this week has been a good week. Uh, I did have one little hiccup with Poshmark and eBay. I had a pair of Nat Nas New Tags shorts that have been listed for less than a month, but haven't gotten a lot of attention on either platform. And then just randomly overnight, the pair of shorts sold on both platforms. It doesn't happen to me all that often. It has happened once or twice uh, because I do take down the listing immediately on the platform it didn't sell on. So I don't run into that issue. I know that there's a lot of different programs that you can pay for that will do that for you. So that's nice, but it's just not something that I want to purchase at this time. I have a little bit more time today at the bins. So I have a hair appointment at 11.45, so I do have more time. Kevin said that he would be able to go home and let out the babies, the dogs, on his lunch break so I don't have to go home in between the bins and getting my hair done. So I think that I'm going to go a little bit... I guess lighter. I'm getting some grays. I'm in denial. <laughs> so I'm happy that I'm going to get a little bit more time at the bins than I have gotten in the past few weeks that I've gone. So I will definitely get some footage inside the bins and I will definitely show you what I got after I get my hair done. So wish me luck and I will see you soon. so bummed about these Alakai ladies flip-flops. They were in really rough conditions, so I had to put them back. All right, I am all done with the bins, and I do have a little bit of time before I have to head on over to my hair appointment, so I thought that, that I would start showing you what I got a little bit before I get home, so that way I have a little bit more time to list these items. So what I first got, well, what I'm first gonna show you are these boots. They are Reebok and they do have Vibram soles. So that's what I saw first. And I don't know how much these are gonna be worth, but I will definitely uh, update you with that and put it up on the screen. Then I saw these Tommy Bahama loafer slip-on shoes. I've actually never found Tommy Bahama shoes before. So I didn't do comps, but they look like they're in excellent condition and they're very good quality. So I don't anticipate having a hard time selling these. So they are size nine and a half. So at least they're not size eight, which for whatever reason, whenever I find a good pair of shoes, they're men's size eight, which is a terrible size to sell. And then I did find another pair of Doc Martens, but they aren't in the greatest condition. So I came up, these are the first shoes that I found and I came up to the bin and I saw that they had this yellow stitching, which is a giveaway that they are Doc Martens. And then they have this logo right here. So they do definitely have, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> they definitely have some wear to them. So I will have to do some research and try to see how much I'm gonna list these for but they are in structurally good condition, except there is this, I don't know if you can see it, there's like this scratch right here, but 
somebody will buy them. I don't know what size they are. Hopefully they're not size eight. Okay, they're size 12 in men's, so maybe, uh, I'm hoping maybe 30 to $40, but we'll have to see. So that's it for the shoes. I'm very picky on my shoes. As you saw in my uh, thrift with me portion, I did find some women's Olakai flip flop shoes. I put them in my bin, or I put them in my car even seeing the wear to them. And then as I was examining them after, I was like, nope, I can't do it. So I put them back. So I'm gonna start with my first bag of clothes. All right, so my next item are a pair of American Eagle jeans and these are the newer label because they don't have outfitters spelled out on it so they are a light wash and a wide leg I guess it would be straight leg and they are a size 38 by 32 so a pretty good size I didn't see much wear to them at well actually I did so there's that but I'm thinking maybe I can get, I don't know, $20 for them. And I forgot to put this back, but the brand is Carhartt. The reason why I wanted to put it back was because it's a Carhartt sweatshirt, but it does have a brand name to it. So I doubt that I will want to sell this, but I will check it out and see maybe if a desirable desirable company I don't know it is a blink 182 sweatshirt I'm wondering if it is vintage because it has this tag on it so I'll have to do some research it is a size small so it does have some apparent killing so this might be just a piece of crap and I'm just gonna redonate it but we'll have to find out all right so my next item are a pair of new tags J Jill and they are the boyfriend size six and I really really hate buying white because more often than not I do find stains or flaws I really don't understand why so many people buy white things but I didn't see any stains I did look at them over I love J Jill and the fact that they're new with tags. So they retailed for $89. So I'm hoping to sell them for maybe 40. All right, the next brand I haven't had luck with, but a awesome channel I follow, Kaylee Elaine. She loves this brand. She always picks it up at the bins if it's a substantial piece. She does stick to the larger sizes as with everything, but I thought this was super cute. It's the kind of, it's very wrinkled. It's a like boho style top. So it's size medium, so we'll see how that does. Had nothing but amazing luck with cargo shorts that are camo. Doesn't really matter the brand. Uh, these are Old Navy, so I have sold a pair of cargo shorts uh, that were Old Navy and they sold very quickly. So I am probably hoping to get 25, $20 to $25 on these. My next item is this Innisbrook golf course sweatshirt. There are some flaws that I did not notice. So I picked it up because I thought it was vintage and it is a event by, by the PGA Tour every year. It's called Valspar and it's local here in Palm Harbor but uh, it's a very well-known golf course and they have a couple different courses and I don't think that Copperhead is the one that the pros play on but I will have to check into this but I got it because it looked vintage I'll have to do some research I might just end up redonating it so I don't get a ton of service in the bins so I do check comps on some things but some things I'm like whatever I'm willing to take the gamble you know because it's only a couple dollars or if that if it's just a shirt or something and it just takes so long to look up every single item with terrible reception <laughs> so I do look up some items but some items kind of pass by me like this one 
so we'll have to see. I maybe paid, it's less than a pound, so I maybe paid a dollar fifty for it, so not that big of a deal. There is a stain on it. Where is it? It's a very light stain, but maybe it'll come up. So I will put up on the screen how much I'm what I'm doing with this. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for bag number one of clothing. I only have one other bag, but it's a larger bag of items. Alright, so bag number two, the brand Zaya Active. And it I saw this and that's their logo, so it's on the hood. It's kind of a, a windbreaker zip-up jacket. It's got cheetah or leopard print. I don't know which one that is, but it's got zip up pockets. It's black. So I've never found anything like this by Zaya Active. I'm thinking maybe I can get $30 for it. My next item is going to be very hard to show you, but it is the brand Harry Potter. It's like this cloak. I'm thinking it, it's a costume, so with it being September, it was kind of perfect. It's got this, this is a hood, and it does have this design, I believe it says Gryffindor on it. So I've had extremely good luck with this brand. I've sold a lot of women's cardigans. I've never sold anything like this. I donated some kind of snuggy thing to my best friend because she loves Harry Potter. So she's like, don't you sell that, it's mine. So she did offer to pay, but I'm like, no, it's fine. But I don't think she's gonna want this. So I'm thinking I could sell it maybe for $20. This was my least favorite bins haul because I didn't really find a whole lot of substantial pieces. I did find this really cute, I might keep it actually. So the brand is Knox Rose again you're not familiar so this is the back of it it's it's like an open cardigan so that's this is the back it's late it's like lace up and then it's kind of hard to see in a car I understand like obviously gonna have to clean all this but it's just an open cardigan size small I know that larger sizes obviously do better but I thought it was super cute with the lace-up detail and I might keep it. My next find were these Levi's 501s. They were tossed back. I believe the XX on them, it means that they were already pre-shrunk. So the more you wash them, they're not going to shrink anymore. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. This is a bu button fly. And I didn't really see anything wrong with them. There is a stain right here, so I guess I missed that. It has terrible lighting in there, so that's that's my only defense. But the hems on them are pretty good. So I'll see if I can get out that stain. I'm going to list these for $20 to $25. This was a torrid dress. And it is a size 0, but torrid has vanity sizing so a size zero I believe is equivalent to a medium large or a size eight to ten but I will make sure that that is correct before I post this but this is a sleeveless dress it's kind of maybe a salmon color it's zipped up in the back it is ribbed on the sides there with a different pattern throughout so I believe it's probably a knee length yeah it's knee length dress so I will probably list this for around $25 these are another one that I didn't look up so it's not any specific brand but it's for uh, the college Harvard and I know that their sweatshirts do very well so I sold a Harvard Law sweatshirt couple, maybe six months ago and it sold pretty quickly for $20 and I wish I had a picture of it but it was gray and there were several stains so it's a very sought-out college and I don't know if these modern 
jogger sweatpants are going to do as well as the sweatshirts, but I don't think that they're going to sit. So I'll probably list these for 20 bucks also. My next item is this very linty North Face quarter zip up pullover. It's black. Uh, it is men's large, so it just really just needs a bath. But I think someone threw it back because it was extremely linty. These don't sell for a ton, so I'll probably list this for 20 and hopefully get at least 15. And I really, really need to start looking at my items. But <laughs> these are Carhartt jeans, but there are some very obvious holes in them in the booty region. I guess I just got really excited that I saw that they're Carhartt but I think someone will still buy them, to be honest. I just don't know for how much. They're very well, Carhartt's a very durable, very well-made company, well, their products are. So, a lot of people wear this stuff for, for work, so they don't really care about the cosmetic portion. However, I'm sure they don't want people seeing their underwear or booty so I I'm still gonna list them but it's gonna be very discounted so that was very disappointing because I was excited about these so I don't know what the hell happened here <laughs> how I missed this but they were folded like this and I just saw I opened them and I saw that they zipped and the zipper worked and that the hems weren't all busted up and I was looking at the front but Nonetheless, I'll probably list them for maybe, I don't know, 15. Another torrid piece. This is just a dread, or a, I'm sorry, a skirt. So it's this red floral skirt. It is lined with a slip. It's torrid. And it is a size two. So that, if I can show you the two. So that means it's a two X. So I thought that was really cute. I'll probably list this for $25. This is just for me. It's Victoria's Secret Pink. I love these little zip up sweaters. They're so comfortable, they're so soft. So I love that and for whatever reason, if I don't love it, I will donate, or not donate it, I will probably list it for $15. These are a pair of camo jogger pants, sweatpants. The brand is Knox Rose. They are extra small. I'm going to attempt to fit in them because I thought they were super cute. If not, I'll list them for 15 They might sit because they're extra small. So I would probably be a small, but I'm going to try to squeeze into them because I thought they were cute. <laughs> All right. So I haven't had much luck with L.L. Bean lately, but everyone raves about it. I don't know why I'm not having that much luck, but the brand's L.L. Bean. I do try to hold out for more substantial pieces, but since I found this at the bins, it's a women's plaid button down top. It's got this ruffle detail right here. So I haven't checked comps on this either, so I'm thinking I can list it maybe around $15 to $20. And if you've ever seen any of my previous videos, I love this brand. This is a Bolo brand. They don't sell for a ton, but the brand is Leoma Lovegrove and I believe she is Florida based and she does a lot of artwork but she also produces clothes too and these are some very colorful pants and I've only found their tops and their tops sell right away. I just sold a top the other day for $18 so I'm assuming their pants go for more money but it's very bright colorful beachy when I saw it I thought it was Leoma Lovegrove and I like that the, there's a spell out right there. So I'll have to do some research. I'm thinking I can get maybe 30 for these. And they sell quickly too. This is yet again another torrid piece. And it's size 2X. And it is a button down lightweight top. It's got some floral detail and some leopard or cheetah detail. Three, four sleeves. I'll probably list this for 15 to 20. 
We're coming down to the end. I told you it was not that great of a haul. Oh, I do have one more item. I got this backpack. It is Beer Bradley. And I thought it was cute. It's got pineapples on it and little birds, parrots, whatever. So I thought that was cute. It's pretty clean on the inside. I'm gonna wash it because it is a little dirty. But I thought it was cute. I think that someone will pick it up. I'm gonna list this for maybe $25. All right, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. I appreciate all of you for commenting and liking each video. So thank you so much for the support. And I hope that you all have a great weekend. I forgot to show you all my new hair. So I definitely went a little bit blonder, if you all care. <laughs> but. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.